We all dream of beautiful shiny exhaust headers, but when is too much actually too much? So there are a lot of videos about cleaning your exhaust headers on YouTube, but lately there have been a lot of that swear on a simple cheap household product to do the job better than any other. Harpic Power Plus. These videos are very popular receiving hundreds of thousands of views, but they all forget to mention one thing. It's a really, really bad idea. Get your motorbike news in a pleasant way. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next episode. So you might say, hold on, how is this a bad idea if it works? And you can see the amazing results that people have gotten, so it obviously works. This is saving me a whole bunch of time and money, so I'm gonna run out to the garage and do it immediately on my bike. Hold on, hold on, just one minute there, Speedy. Of course it works, nobody's denying that hard pick on your exhaust works very well in cleaning and restoring some of its original shine. But how does it work and why is it such a terrible idea? Well, Harpix Power Plus contains hydrochloric acid. Now, this is not a bleach as most videos state because hydrochloric acid together with bleach would create chlorine gas which would be very very bad for you. Now the hydrochloric acid reacts with all of the gunk and the dirt and the rust on your exhaust by actually corroding them. It works very quickly and of course everyone is massively impressed when going from this to this in mere minutes without a whole lot of scrubbing. Now stainless steel pipes are also coated with a whole bunch of other chemicals and metals, chromium being one of them. You know, the thing that makes your pipes shine. Hydrochloric acid, even if applied for a couple of minutes, will corrode through these layers immediately and reach the stainless steel, so you will never ever get that original shine again because you have just gotten rid of the chrome that was responsible for it. Hydrochloric acid will corrode everything on your pipes, revealing untreated stainless steel, which is obviously shinier than dirty pipes, but you will notice that it doesn't look quite right. Apart from there being no chromium left on your pipes anymore, the acid will also corrode the steel unevenly. This will lead to pitting in the metal and over time the pipes will get a lot dirtier than originally and they will do this unevenly. So long or short term, Harpic is a really bad solution. Get the pun? Another thing that none of these videos mention which is really really dangerous is the fact that hydrochloric acid will completely stain any aluminium and magnesium that they come into contact with. This includes your rims, your bash plate, engine covers, a lot of stuff on your bike is aluminium. Is it worth having other parts of your bike stained or potentially structurally destroyed just to have cleaner headers? Do dirty headers really bother you that much? I mean at the end of the day they do show that you've actually been riding your bike which is the reason why you bought it in the first place and not just sitting around hours on end meticulously cleaning it. If however you want to go the acid route and melt the gunk off your pipes, nitric acid is the one recommended for stainless steel. There are a few problems however. Nitric acid is not really found in any household items as readily as hydrochloric acid. Nitric acid is also a very strong acid that has the potential to cause very serious burns through its corrosive action. So not really worth it for having shinier pipes. Alright, alright, I get your point, no hard pick anywhere near my bike, but I still want my headers cleaned because I cannot stand them looking the way they do. No problem, I got you. In that case, there are only two things that you can do, wrap them or ceramic paint them. There is a third, which includes stainless steel cleaners and a lot of elbow grease, but after a short while, they will just get dirty again so I'm not recommending this as a long-term solution. Wrapping your headers in special heat-resistant wrapping material will give your bike an old-school retro look and if you're into that sort of thing then go right ahead. The materials are cheap and can be applied by anyone without much of a hassle. We've put a couple from Amazon in the description below, check them out if you want a new look for your headers without taking any risks. They come in all sorts of colors and designs and we also get a kickback if you use the links, so thanks for helping out. You will also need some stainless steel zip ties, those are also in the description. And the proper way to get your headers looking great is ceramic coating. Now, while some DIY solutions exist, if you decide to go down this route, I strongly recommend to have it done professionally. The process can be quite involved and to save yourself the pain of your coating chipping and looking worse than before, maybe spend that extra cash on a professional. Let me know in the comments below how you take care of the exhaust headers. Maybe you have some other solutions that I haven't covered or do you just ride your bike and not worry about them like 
you know, you should. Well, that's the show, everybody. I hope I've convinced you not to make a huge mistake by destroying your headers and that Harpik's place is in the toilet, a place it was actually designed for. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and if you think you've learned something new, consider subscribing or become a Patreon to catch more of our videos. Cheers and see you next time.